Well, I did predict that Liz Truss would be bad, but I didn't think it would be that brief. However, I'm not surprised, I'm not disappointed, and I, 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 I now with a due sense of fear and dread wait for the next blithering idiot that they can offer up. However, one of the local papers put on a live stream and it was a picture of Liz Truss versus a lettuce. The lettuce had a makeover from occasions, um, and it had a wig. But I do think the Liz, uh, well, the lettuce came across better. And this is the problem. Liz Truss was nothing but a buffoon. She was one of these blimpering, bl bl blundering, middle-class fuckwits uh, that's made its way through life because it's a shithouse, snidey little twat that will crap on anything from any direction to attain power. But unfortunately couldn't hold on to that power because the other shithouses around her, which are equally as vile, worked out that she was more of a liability to their earnings than uh, Boris. So they got rid of Boris. Okay, fine. And uh, now they're getting rid of trust. Who else are they going to bring in? Will it be somebody at Bain? Because that's what I expect. Um, but I have heard that Boris is in the running. Now this would be interesting given the fact that there's some sort of investigation into him. So we'll have to see. But at the moment, I think you can agree with me now that politics has probably reached its all-time low. Which is an interesting time to be alive, because obviously you're witnessing this along with the rest of us. However, it also kind of backs up the, the, the thought that I have that the actual weapon at the top, and I use weapon because that's what they are, the, 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 the useless piece of skin at the end of the dick that gets chopped off from time to time, is just that and has actually not as much to do with the running of this country as you might think. In fact, the, the, off, well, the country is run very much by the back offices and they've been incredibly tainted with common purpose, which is why it seems to be running itself into the ground right now. <clears throat> now, it seems also that Labour have decided that now would be a good time to call for a general election. Now, I'd actually like to see a general election. I'd like to see Labour get in, not because I like Labour, I despise them. But I actually feel that they might hasten the, the, the situation that's coming. We can get there quicker because what we've got coming is bad. And the sooner we get on with it, the sooner we can get through it, the sooner we can come out the other end and try and fix what mess this country is in. And it is in an incredible mess, I think you'd agree. However, the... Conservative Party are a joke. The opposition, and I use that lightly because both of them are two chinks of the same arsehole, um, and people would disagree with me there, but literally, as I said in the uh, video that I did for TikTok, um, a wise man said uh, with regards to British politics that if you really think that voting made a difference, then they wouldn't let us do it. And I really am starting to feel that. Admittedly, I am getting cynical in my old age, but what is cynical if it's not learning that my previous endeavours, mistakes, history, learning from what's happened before and expecting it to happen again. It's more like common sense, really. However, there we are. So, whatever idiot we get in next will have been blessed by the globalists. And if it doesn't do exactly what the globalist wants, then it will be encouraged to leave by one means or another. Now, some of you may have been looking into the whip, the chief whip, whatever, and it seems that within the party, there is one mush that goes around and tells other mushes to tell every other mush to vote in the right direction or won't we'll retire you. That seems to be my understanding. And they have to have a very good reason to vote the other way. So basically the democracy is injected with a sense of fear that if you don't do the right thing, then your career may be affected. So they'll all vote normally, unless they're a rebel, I, that's a bit of a joke really because they've already got to that stage so they've proved that they're not much of a rebel but yeah, the two party system absolute fucking joke they will carry on making the same mistakes they will carry on promising us the same things we will be better we will sort out the problems of the party before us but the truth is this none of them do and they've got the great excuse that the people before us fucked it all up so we couldn't do well and every year I should say every year. Every time a new party comes in, we accept it. We just take it. And we don't ask for any change because we're too fucking lazy, really. We 
really should have got to the stage where we'd have come out in the streets and openly how do I say this basically kicked them all out of power and put something else in better but what are we left with You've got the Greens, forget it. You've got the Liberal Democrats, well, they've never been viable. You've got um, a few other fringe parties that are nothing more than paid opposition. Otherwise, it wouldn't get anywhere. So, we're fucked, totally fucked. So, sit back and enjoy the ride uh, that is the massive decline of Great Britain until we find ourselves into a situation where Britain is a shadow of its former self, law and order breaks down, the actual stock market is completely fucked. Uh, we're totally out of bankrupt. There's no food on the shelves. Uh, basically, the farming's gone t tits up. Industry's gone tits up. Everything has gone tits up, right? And there will be literally anarchy out in the streets. That's where we're headed, by the way. It might take a few years to get there, but that's where we're going. So, there it is. Not what you probably wanted to hear on a Friday, but let's be honest, I'm not there to sugarcoat anything. This is what we've got to expect. But there will be a few people around that are alive now that won't be there to see it anyway because, well, they've taken interventions in the past and, well, as I've seen lately, a lot of close, well, close people and not so close people have lost loved ones all through the same thing. And very unexpected in many cases. And uh, this is happening all over and nobody's actually sticking their head above it and saying, this has happened because of this reason, because they don't want to. But if you don't want to, that's fine. But yeah, many of the people who, um, <clears throat> who are around now won't be there to see this misery, so that's probably a plus for them. Unless you're one of those who's taken the intervention, you want to be there, but there we go. You take your chances, don't you? I am on a shitty, wetty, crap fuck Friday that I'm not really enjoying, and I'm just dragging my miserable fucking ass through the day, hoping to get to the end of it where I can go home and stay there for the weekend. I plan to do fuck all. I've had enough. I hope you're all doing better. And uh, there you are. Right, but anyway, enjoy yourselves and I'll speak to you in a bit.